She always accommodated herself to others. The mild-mannered Beverly was also made of very sturdy resolve. Outwardly quiet, she possessed an amazing inner strength. I don't know how many of us could have been so strong when put to the test. And she was repeatedly put to the test. Only these past few years, and upon further reflection, that I begin to grasp how bold, how brave Beverly was. She was a Gibora. Growing up far from major Jewish centers, Beverly boldly chose to live a fuller Jewish life. She and David had repeated trials and tribulations, yet she persevered and never, ever gave up. A skilled social worker, she spent many years doing post-trauma work with victims of the terrible 9-11 World Trade Center bombing. Who could have imagined what traumas she herself was yet to go through? What pains, what suffering. David HaMelech taught us to beseech Hashem. Samcheinu ki moti mitanu shnot ra'inu ra'ah. Samcheinu ki moti mitanu shnot ra'inu ra'ah. He taught us that joy can come in the wake of all these years of suffering. At this very moment, I can imagine Beverly standing before Beit Din Shomal with a disarmingly simple but powerful request. Give us happiness commensurate with all the bad years. Let the Kaddish Baruch Hu and his many, many agents on earth add Simcha to Beverly, to Sarah, to Gary, and somehow also to David. Beverly, no doubt, is in Melitza Yosha at this very moment and will plead sincerely and convincingly that all of us who are moved by Beverly in our lifetime demand of ourselves to act as Shlichei HaMakom, each of us, Bechol Kolchol, with all our ability, to add Simcha to Beverly's family and to all the people we can. May Hashem bless all our prayers and all of our efforts. Bishkut Beila Batsara Rufka Menuchata Eben. Yehi Zichra Livracha. She followed him loyally to each position, 
זכרתי לו חסד עמייך, אהבת פעולותייך, לכתך אחריי, במדבר, בארץ לא זרועה. פאקי ורובי, הם מייקים ניו פרנדס, איש קומיוניטי. We were so delighted when David and Beverly moved to Israel. The first stop to Israel was in our home. During those first months, we developed a very close relationship that continued over the years in Spa. Although they developed wonderful friendships in Spa, David suffered financial disappointment. When he decided to work abroad, she courageously accepted the challenge of separation. Following David's accident, Beverly wiped her tears and packed her bags. This time, to be at David's side in every crisis and through the periods of no change. Beverly then came daily to the nursing home and would enter his room energetically, calling out, David, hey, I'm here. She never complained and impressed the staff at Silvercrest with the stability and stick to it -tiveness. Her self-devotion self to my brother David took its toll, and her unshipped her own health began to fail. But Beverly was a fighter. Her devotion to Sarah and Gary and concern for the future motivated her to battle the illness. She so wanted to be there for Gary and Sarah, and Beverly dreamed, like all Jewish mothers, to be at their weddings. We don't understand Hashem's ways. We only know that Hashem gives us tasks to do. Beverly, in her short life, revealed her deeper moment to do and not to question. My mother, Alel Shalom, always stated that family is first. A few weeks before her tear, she spoke as if in a sabbat that we must never forget Sarah and Gary. We ought to look after them, because they are family. Sarah and Gary, you are not alone. We will always stay at bar. Hey, Zipro. מיכתב לדוד שומרי Amen. Amen. 